guys are still undefeated. You basically, you've got games left to play, but more than likely you guys are going to win, win out. How do you stay motivated through the last couple of weeks? Well, Ron, that is the million dollar question right there. We, well, number one, I think one advantage that, that we do have is that we've got 10 seniors. Uh, that's, you know, that's kind of what I'm leaning on. And then Coach Combes, the other coaches, myself are, are, you know, staying on them. And, and, and uh, last week we we backed off a little bit. I told the kids after the Ringling game that night, because really since August the 10th or 11th, whatever day we started, we've been pushing, 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 because we knew we had a little time to get to where we needed to get to compete with the Hiltons, the Ringlands. And so that was, you know, five weeks of game, you know, eight weeks, and just really not letting up a bit and uh, at all. And, and I just felt like the kids deserved it and the coaches, you know. And so we we still worked hard. We didn't put in as much time. Uh, I thought the kids handled it real well and uh, come out and played really well against uh, Warica and took care of business. And this week we're, we're picking back up the pace. Uh, but we're just, uh, I told kids, you may think, I went completely crazy because I'm going to be on you about every little thing because honestly, and, and I hope it's not bragging or whatever, but there's just not that foe in front of us that's going to motivate us. And, and uh, you know, I say that next week we may come in with a loss, but uh, we just we simply got to play better than we've been playing uh, to, to – go where we want to go. We're going to have to be perfect in every way. And so it's just going to be up to us. It's going to be up to the kids. When they get to Pragsville, they got to want to get better. Um, and coaches, we got to keep pushing, keep pushing. Like in last week's game, you guys are up 28 nothing after the first quarter. There's a fine line I know that you feel between rubbing it in and getting your kids the time right. that they need. How, how do you balance that? Oh, uh, well, you know, I've said this, and I and I have been on both sides of the of the equation here, and 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 I feel bad in either situation. Uh, you know, it athletics wasn't meant to for me during the game at any point during the game. Worry about whether that coach across the field is going to think bad of me for what I'm doing. Right. Uh, and and at the same time, when I've been on the other side. Uh, you know, I didn't want that coach feeling like that. And, and but, you know, when I was the underdog or the one, the up-and-comers, however you want to look at it, I just felt like that we needed to get better. And it was our job to control the score. And so, you know, the, the tail kickings we got, we just got. And, and whenever they decided that enough was enough, then that was their choice. Uh, but when I'm on this end of it, which is a much better place to be, <laughs> right. I feel a lot more pressure. Uh, and, you know, when I even asked Coach Combats a couple times, you think if I do this, you know, because what we did, basically, we had this, we put our second unit in there in the last two plays of the half, just because, and we really didn't plan on going into the game. We felt like we got out and we was going to play our starting defense for three full quarters, no matter what, period, for conditioning. And that's the biggest thing. If it wasn't for conditioning, we, we wouldn't have played them. I feel bad. I feel like I should have played them a little bit longer just for condition because the same kids are playing both sides of the ball for right. us. And we played one snap of offense the second half, one snap. And then the rest of the time was the second unit. And they deserve They've been out here as long as these other guys are, and they deserve And they put a good little drive together and, and ended up scoring. And, and uh, so that was huge for them. I didn't care how many points Oregon scored, no. uh, you know, Everybody wants a zero on the other side, but, you know, when it's done, you're done. And I don't want to put – once I pull the guys off, I don't want to put them back in there for nothing other than punt. That's the only thing I don't have second unit on. Right. But uh, it's just a tough deal. And like I say, I just – what can you – you know, how much else we could do and, and what we did. And, and uh, But the thing that, that will hurt us – down the road, and that's where my focus needs to be, not on what each other town that we're playing is, is, is my kids going to be ready to come first round, second round, third round, fourth round, because that's the bottom line is we got things to do, and, and 
the only way we, you know, we can run them or continue to run. Thing was, if we still had, if, if, if the future was uncertain as far as district title, uh, you know, and, and all that, I mean, if there was still all these teams that were playing like War Eagle when I first came here was unbelievable. I mean, we just hope we can, if all those teams were still as strong as they used to be, then we wouldn't have to run them as much because we'd be getting, we'd have to be playing 48 minutes. Uh, like I said, I hope I'm I'm not sounding too bad, but uh, I just I mean I live in reality also, and I got a job to do, and and it's to get our kids ready to play. But this week you guys have got Maysville. Talk about them a little bit. Well, Coach Hall's uh, been there a couple of years now, and he's had a really good football teams that, that's come in here and, and and had their way with us, and and uh, they've slowly fallen off to injury to. You know, just graduation. Uh, they're experiencing some, some tough times, but yet they still do things right. They still uh, get after it. Uh, you know, it's a it's a situation. I think, Ron, that if we go out there and play as we're capable of playing, we can we can take care of it. Uh, and and if not, then it you know, it's, I feel sorry for kids because I won't be there. <laughs> That's for sure. But I mean. They're they're just they're struggling a little bit uh, to say the least. But uh, I know coach is going to get after them, and, and they need you know teams like that need a victory over somebody like us, and and not that we're the the top of the line because we're not. We feel like we're in the middle. Of, you know we're just a little above average, trying to get to be one of those really special teams, and and uh, you know uh, the first scare. Uh, you know I tell the kids all the time when you no longer fear getting beat, that's when you get beat. And uh, that's in any sport, in any level. And so uh, we got to continue to have that fear in our hearts. I think we do, then we should be all right Friday night. Would you rather have a, a Ringling or Hilton to finish Absolutely. Up Would you really? Absolutely. I, I uh, you know, before we played Hilton, uh, I told the kids, I said, you know, I wish after this Hilton Ringland that we had, you know, maybe not the very next week or the week after, but, you know, I wish we had O'Keen, Cash, and whoever, Tom, you know, whoever the best is the best out there. I mean, it's regular season, and um, that's what, uh, that's why we play it.